Ladies and gentlemen, the men and women of Sydney have done this country, this fine city, their navy, their mission and themselves a proud service. As Prime Minister Curtin in 1941 reassured a grieving nation on the sink of Sydney 2, there will always be a Sydney. It will only be a few short years before the rails will be manned aboard Sydney 5. You can rest assured there will be many, including me, who will be jostling for the proud honour of sailing in Sydney again. 32 years of service is a very long time in anybody's book. And uh, to represent this nation, our people and our country, internationally and domestically over a 32 year period, firmly places this HMAS Sydney as a significant part of Australia's naval story. Sydney's Australian Morning. Very good. So for all of us who care so much about this Sydney, we can rest assured knowing that her name, her spirit and her work will continue. It is a remarkable name for a ship with a remark or a series of ships with a remarkable history. This ship and its people personify all that is good and lasting, not just about the Royal Australian Navy, but also about our country. And this is the legacy that will live, live on long after this vessel is retired. While the men and women of the ship, in all of its incarnations, live on, so does this HMAS Sydney. Thank you and my compliments to all involved in bringing us this wonderful, traditional uh, uh, rite of passage that the Navy does so well.